reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere, is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice, as the shepherd calls out his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him, because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him, because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although you, Jesus, used this figure of speech, the Pharisees did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus um, is the good shepherd, and we are his sheep. Very good. 
So at one point in the story, the shepherd goes outside of the little crowd, doesn't he? And the sheep follow him. And the sheep follow him. Very good. And that's what we're supposed to do with Jesus, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We're supposed to follow him. Yes. What do you think is so neat about Jesus? Um, he is never like a part of us. He's like, he's like always by our side. He's never like, um, like, like somewhere else, like going shopping or something. <laughs> well, that's the neat thing about Jesus. Yeah. That he's always there. Mm -hmm. And then, Remember, this is when Daniel read you guys a, a song. And it started yes. off, she read, she's read you a lot of scriptures. Yes, she did. Yes. Yes, she did. <laughs> and this one was one of the first ones that I was there. And it goes like this. The Lord is my, my shepherd. shepherd. Mm -hmm. There is nothing. Mm -hmm.
backs. She wasn't coach. She had no idea what I was going to ask. And so I wouldn't be asking trick questions. You know, this is what we do for our faith. These are the important things that are sitting with her. This is something that is powerful and important. That Jesus is always with her. And that there is a connection, even at five, you're five years old, or six? Six and a half. Okay, excuse me, six and a half. That's the last time she'll admit to her age. <laughs> even at six and a half, she knows there's that connection, and she wants to learn. This is how we share and witness our faith. We are never, ever too young to be messengers of Jesus Christ, to say, he's my friend. He's important to me, and I want to let other people know that. This is courage. I would not have done this at this age. But God bless you that you said it yesterday. I did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. And if you said it yes right away, you didn't have to try to get it. like, oh, great, please. It's like, this is something special. You felt comfortable talking to us about your friend Jesus, didn't you? Yes. We're all very, very happy that you're here to do this for us today. I'm Big Shepherd. This is what it means for us to have life and have it abundantly. That we're not afraid to allow others to know what Jesus means to us. That we can share what we receive and give it away. To not say, yes, I know that, but to let others know that this is important to me. This is important to us. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Jesus is our friend. 